Triple digit heat impacting El Pasoans across the borderland and with the high temperatures expected to stick around, some runners are now adjusting their training. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis has been outside all day. She joins us live with the details. Brianna. <laughs> That's right, Eric. Exercise is always a good thing, but while running in the heat, it can get dangerous. That's why one running club says it has made some changes. ABC 7 editor and coach for the Cathedral Cross Country Club, Pedro Pedrosa, says that this, his team has been gearing up for the season. Uh, during his time, the heat has played a big role in their training, so they have had to make some adjustments, like changing routes that include more shade, provide more water breaks for the runners, and train earlier in the day. ABC7 caught up with some runners who tell us what it was like for them to run in the heat and what their best practices are during this time. Oh, it makes, you, it makes you feel like lethargic when you're running. You just, yeah, it's just like you're running and it's like just so hot. So you feel like you want to like slow down, but you can't slow down. Sometimes it'll be like, it'll be cold and then sometimes it'll be like really hot. But for the summer, you can, you'll definitely know that it's going to be hot. And that can be a challenge, you know, just to make sure that I drink enough water, that I wear the right clothes and that I, um, run at the right time. And I've only ran a very, very short distance as you saw, but if you're going to be outside, maybe getting your workout on, make sure to bring some water with you and listen to your body, just like mine's telling me right now to go back indoors and go inside my car. So I'm going to send it back to you in studio. Yeah, definitely don't want to be running when it's 102 degrees, Brianna. Thank you.